What's up everybody? Hey, it's Charles from HumbleMechanic.com with Paul from Shop DAP, and today we're gonna show you how to reseal a fuel injector. We are here at the Shop DAP studios, and we are gonna show you guys how to replace a fuel injector seal, both the inner and the outer seal. This is far different than the older non-direct injected uh, uh, engines. So uh, there's some special tools that are, they really are required in order to do this properly. You might be pulling your injector out to do a decarb, which should get injector seals and clean injectors anyway, or perhaps, uh, I guess you wouldn't really do this to replace one because most of the new injectors come, new with, injectors new come seals. with seals. Yeah. So if you're pulling the intake manifold off, which will be actually part of this job, Paul, I'll link up to a video that you and I had done yeah. many moons ago. Yeah. Uh, so you can learn how to exactly take the intake manifold off. The process is very similar on all the direct injection engines. Intake manifolds may be different. The parts might be a little bit different. Parts are different. Uh, FSI and TSI use different injector seal kits, which we have laid out there. Uh, they'll, they'll look pretty similar, but the seals inside are, have some variation. The toolkits themselves, this is pretty much the toolkit for every direction, direct injection Volkswagen and Audi models. There's not a lot of variation. There are a lot of tools in here that are not used for every model, so you'll see some stuff we do today uh, where we're not going to use every single piece in this kit that's laid out here. Some of these tools are to remove the injector, to install the injector. Um, I've used this kit a lot and I've not used most of the things in this kit. The outer seal is actually really easy, very much like all the rest of the other fuel injectors that we've had over the years. The one that goes into the cylinder head, this nylon seal, stretches over and then you have to shrink it back down by using these dies. So uh, it's, it's not as simple as just putting it on and jamming it into the injector port. You need to form it and then install it. Yeah, that, that injector and just the reason why that particular one is so important is because it's in the cylinder. Uh, and so it's under obviously a tremendous amount of pressure being direct injection. Then they have to make sure you have a good seal there. Otherwise you could have combustion chamber leakage coming out of the injector or obviously injector issue related issues as well. The tools we're gonna need of course are going to be the injector kit. We obviously have to have a fuel injector and then we need the seal kit which comes with five parts. I like to start by cutting off the old seals, and I like to use a brand new sharp razor blade for that. Now you do really want to be careful, you don't want to dig heavy into the metal. You just sort of want to lay the razor at an angle and cut away from you just enough to cut the seal. So now we've got our old nylon seal. I'm going to turn the injector over, and I'm going to cut this seal. And also take a pick or a pocket screwdriver and just ease the seal off like that. And then there is also a plastic washer underneath that seal that has a split in it. You can just peel that right off and over the lip of the injector. Now we have all of our seals off. We really want to go ahead and clean this injector, clean the tip off of it clean any dirt, debris, grime off of the uh, off the other side of the injector. It's also a good idea to make sure that you are cleaning the cylinder head. You don't want any of the debris to fall into the cylinder head. The kit comes with a brush to clean the injector port. Make sure you do a really good job cleaning any carbon or junk out of the injector port. Okay, so now we're looking at our kit a little bit more up close. Let's talk a little real briefly about what these components do in this kit. As we mentioned, this is the cleaner for the port in the cylinder head that the injector goes into. This is a slide hammer, and so the purpose of the slide hammer is actually for removing the injector itself. So you would take this right here, slide it over the end of the injector, and then attach this, and then you can pull, pull, pull like a slide hammer uh, would do, and that allows you to actually remove the se this safely from the cylinder head. Again, you have to make sure this is in here really good because otherwise if you're not on there properly, you probably could fall, slip off and maybe damage the injector on the way out. So you wanna make sure that that's obviously in there real well when you're actually doing that. As we'll see in a second that Charles is gonna show us, this slides on here and actually helps ramp up the injector seal. So it slides over the tip without stretching too far because if you stretch the tip too far, it won't actually compress down enough to actually fit onto the injector. So you don't want to stretch it too far, that could cause damage. And then each one of these allows us to compress uh, the injector tip seal that goes on here. And you start with a larger and then go smaller and smaller and smaller until it's actually all the way compressed down. This one actually would be helped, would help you install, reinstall this back into the vehicle, uh, this tool 
is intended for installation and uh, that's all we're going to be using in this particular setup. All right, so we're going to start by grabbing the cone out of the install kit, sliding the nylon seal over the cone. The cone has a little notch in it. That cone sides with the tip of the injector and they sit together like this. Now they won't stay together, you have to hold them, but it has a little groove to, to ride in. Next we're going to take our first die with the knurled end towards the injector, push our nylon seal onto the injector. Now the seal is all loose, so it will go in the cylinder if, head if you put it in there, but it's probably going to tear. Now what we do is we take this and we flip it the other way and push the nylon seal on the injector. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna shrink it down into the well where the, the seal rides. Then what we do, we take our next die and we push it and twist it. And when we pull the die back off, that puts the seal on nice and tight. It's now shrunken down a little bit so it fits really, really well mm -hmm. in that little groove. So that really, Paul, is like the most different part of all of this is using these dies to form fit this seal onto the injector. Next, I like to go to the back end or the outside end of the injector. We put our little nylon spacer or washer on and that just sort of rolls over. Next, we do our blue injector seal. And when I do these, I usually put a little bit of lubricant on it. Um, silicone Prevent lubricant works, works perfect. Yeah. It stretches it a little bit and lets it go over the ridge of the injector. It also lets the intake manifold slide onto mm -hmm. it a little bit easier. Or you can just simply roll it over like that. Next, I put this little cage on. That goes on the end of the connector side. And the reason I had said earlier, the reason that I do this one first and then work my way this way is so that I don't get any lubricant on this seal. These mm -hmm. aren't supposed to be lubricated. Finally, this little piece that sort of looks like what comes in your uh, pizza box to keep the, <laughs> the box from smashing into your cheese. This is simply a spacer. It goes on this end like this. These break a lot coming off. And I've actually seen a couple of different styles of these two, and that may be one of the there differences are. between yeah. the FSI and the TSI kit. Once you have that done, your injector is ready to install. You can try and just push it straight into the cylinder by hand, uh, or you can use the pieces to the tool kit mm -hmm. to make it maybe a little bit easier. Typically, I just push it right into the cylinder and have never had a problem doing it that way. All right, guys, there you have it. Uh, we have resealed an injector. Now you only have, what, three more to do. Make sure, again, you're working clean. You're not getting any kind of uh, lubricant on that nylon seal that goes into the cylinder head. Two very important things. This is a must do if you're doing a decarb. A lot of times the injectors come out of the cylinder head anyway when you're pulling the manifold off if you're replacing the manifold as well. I will have links to all this stuff down in the description as well as to Paul and his channel. You guys know we've done a real, lot of really cool stuff together. So uh, guys, thanks so much. If you have questions, comments, you know what to do. If you like the video, thumbs up. I'd always appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. Check out Paul's channel uh, or over on the blog for me at humblemechanic.com, shopdap.com for Paul. Follow us both on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and what's the other one? Snapchat, I think's the other one. Uh, all right, guys. Hey, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.